Good morning. So if you've watched or read my work in the past, then you might have seen me talk about mental health. Uh, it's one of those things I think is important to sort of drag out into normal conversation um, as much as possible, so I try and do that. I think you should have the same amount of shame about mental illness as you'd have about a broken leg, which is to say none. Uh, don't run on it, don't hide it, try and not let it get worse and get help. So I've lived with anxiety, depression and OCD since my teens. Uh, I've been in a lot of therapy and that certainly helped to some degree, but I was still in pain and over recent years I've been aware that it's been feeling like it's getting worse. One of the things about mental illness, at least for me, is how often it feels like your baseline state is your needle just touching the red zone, you know? You struggle on a day-to-day -day basis with generic normality and then when life throws you even the smallest curveball, the needle goes straight into the red. And that kind of fragility didn't really do well in the continuing awful hellscape of 2020, so I thought it was time for a new tactic. I'd been offered antidepressants in most of my doctor's visits over the years and I'd always said no. If you'd asked me, I probably would have come up with some vague, weird reasons, but the bottom line is that I was a little bit scared. Scared that I'd be somehow numbed by them. Scared that the sensitivity that lets me make things might be dulled. But honestly, this year things got to a point where it felt like numb might be the better option. So, I'm going to start to take meds, and I thought it might be interesting to keep a little video diary of my journey with them, partly so that I have a reason to put my feelings into words, and partly for other people who might feel like I did and be a bit scared of the whole idea. So, okay then, let's see how this goes. <laughs> So it's two and a half weeks later and it's been interesting. Um, the first week of taking the meds, and by the way I'm taking SSRIs, um, the first week or so was not the most fun. Um, nausea, headaches pretty constantly, uh, very tired, and also a marked um, increase in the symptoms that I'm taking the meds to try to lessen. So anxiety, random panic attacks, depression, all that good stuff. Now I'd done my research and I knew that this was likely to happen, so it wasn't so scary, but it was still pretty brutal. And then a little way into the second week, something started to happen. Uh, it's subtle, so I'm gonna try and describe it as best as I can. I often find it hard to be in the moment. I'm always thinking about embarrassing or shameful things from my past or obsessing over the scary what-ifs of the future. Even when I'm having a nice time, there's still a very clear voice in my head reminding me of what a loser I am and what a failure I'll end up, so really what's the point of having fun? That voice is a big fat cliche, but over the years it's become relentless and persuasive. And that voice has, at least at the moment, vanished. 
I'm able to think about things that in the past would have been triggers that would have hooked me into days of dark spiralling thoughts and I'm able to think of these things and then let go of them. They say it takes between three and six weeks when you take new meds for the cocktail of chemicals in your head to stabilise. So I'm sure there'll be more ups and downs as I continue this journey, but at the moment I seem to have been given the ability to shrug at worries, which for me is quite the uh, new and delightful novelty. I guess we'll see how things go. <music> So we're about three weeks in now, and I still feel good. Um, I'm not skipping and singing and dancing, but also I'm not continually obsessed with dark thoughts. I feel balanced. Um, I guess normal would be the word. Um, and this week I have two gigs, which in 2020 is enough of a anomaly. But um, And I'm interested to see what happens, because when I'm working, I, I, I've said this before, when I'm on stage, I feel like the most me, uh, or at least the, the most a certain version of me. Um, when I'm on stage, I'm working off my gut, I'm working off my emotions a lot of the time. And afterwards, if I've had a good gig, it will give me a nice emotional glow. Um, so I'm curious to see if any of that is different. I don't feel in any way numbed emotionally, but... Will it change how I perform? Will it change how I feel when I'm performing and afterwards? Um, yeah, I'm interested. So here I am uh, backstage at one of my favourite rooms in the world to play the mighty aeronaut in Acton. I'm about to go and do my thing. Um, I don't think I feel any different to normal. Um, the only side effect that's still hanging around here at the three week mark is that I'm quite tired. That's why they invented coffee. So um, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> So here's the thing, I didn't really think that taking meds would change how I perform. I've been doing this stuff for so long now that I kind of assume that all those little performative details are kind of calcified now, they're kind of solid and set in stone. And maybe that's arrogance, but I always thought that would be the last element of my life that could be changed. However. That Friday night, the first gig that I did since I'd started taking the meds, it did feel a little bit different. I felt lighter. I felt like there was a little bit more space in my act somehow. Um, when I'm performing, I sometimes worry that I come across a little bit aggressive. And from the moment I stepped on stage on Friday, I felt myself smiling more. And I don't know if I actually was or if that's just how I felt. On the other hand, one of the strengths of my cabaret set is that it is pretty relentless. Um, a friend of mine describes my act with just one gesture, which is... Um, and it felt like maybe on Friday that was turned down, just a couple of small notches. But perhaps also I'm overthinking it. It was, after all, a socially distanced, half-capacity audience. And that would also account for most of the things that I'm talking about here and the things that I wouldn't normally be second-guessing. So I went into my show on the Saturday night wondering if I would feel the same things again. But I didn't. It felt happily completely normal. I felt in the moment, uh, I felt that I had energy, I even had some fun drunk hecklers to test that my wits were still quick and savage, which they were. I did a full hour on stage, had a great time, 
and on the way home felt the familiar little contented glow that honestly I had feared might leave me. So, so far so good. <laughs> So here's the wrap up. After about a month on these pills, you have a chat with your doctor to discuss how things are going, if things are different and if that's different good or different bad. So I'm going to have that chat with you too. And I don't claim or pretend that this is anything more than just my own personal experience. Your mileage almost certainly will vary. The pills don't cure anything, but here's what they've done for me, at least so far this month. In the past, if my mind would idle towards one of the banal but scary facts of life, death, loneliness, decrepitude, it would sink a hook into me that I would be unable to dislodge. For hours or days or longer, the weight of those thoughts would hang from my skin, slowly tearing it. This month, when that happens, I seem to be able to pull the hook out and throw it away. In the past, things that are in no way urgent or important somehow heat up in my chest and this little stress engine revs up and revs up faster and faster until my heart is hammering and my skin is itchy and I have butterflies in my guts and now whatever it was that started this feeling is the single most important thing in the world and must be solved or fixed or addressed or spoken about or hated and this makes me behave sometimes, if you can imagine such a thing, like a bit of a dick. And this month, I don't think there's been a time when that's happened. In the past, once or twice a week, I'd wake up shell-shocked from dreams of people I'm scared of doing things to scare me. It always seemed to me deeply unfair that mental illness would use your dreams like this. Like, however much I work to soothe my conscious mind, it just waits until I'm unconscious and gets me when my guard is down. This month I haven't had any dreams like that. Not one. The side effects have mostly evaporated, uh, except for tiredness. I still feel tireder than usual during the day, but I think that's fading, and honestly, I'll take it, because... Like I said, these pills don't cure anything, but they feel like they even the odds. Living with mental illness is sometimes like stepping into the ring against an opponent that you saw slip a roll of dimes into their glove. They're not fighting fair. The ref won't listen to your protests, he just thinks you're scared. So you have to walk across the canvas and look your opponent in the eye knowing that they're going to hit you harder than you can possibly hit back. So now I guess it feels a little bit more like a fair fight. I'm not happy all the time, I still have less happy days, but they are no longer an overture to something heavier and darker. My spirit feels oddly younger. I feel more like the man I was before so much real estate in my mind was taken up by a black dog. I feel lighter. As I said, this is going to be different for everyone, and I'm only able to say it as I see it, to, to relay my own feelings going through this experience. But if there's anyone out there who was in a similar situation to me, uh, tried various other options, was a little scared of taking meds, here's all I can say is that this month, for the first time in a lot of years, it feels like the crew of my ship are taking orders from me rather than from the mutineers. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this video, then please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and consider supporting my work on Patreon. And if you're not doing so already, please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.